So I took my Pashad box out today, my Alla Prima Pashad box out, and I took my sketchbook out, and I did a couple of paintings. And I did one, this one I did with gouache, and it's, I guess you can't see from here, but I was standing down there looking out at our old goat shed when I painted it. And you'll see later in the video the setup. And this one I did with the mixed media. For the last couple of months, I've been talking about how I've been using colored pencil and markers. That whole inspiration came from Emma Carlyle's um, Patreon. And I know I mention Emma Carlyle a lot in my videos lately. She's really inspired all of us to pull out colored pencils and markers and create texture and um, interesting marks with um, you know, colored pencils, markers. She uses a couple of different kinds of markers. All the supplies that I'm talking about will be linked below this video, and they're also linked in my prior videos where I've been experimenting with the colored pencils and talking about this. And I, I did an unboxing video when I bought the new kind of colored pencils. But anyways, so a lot of us are packing up our little bags and, and making our little kits to go out plein air painting for the season. So I showed my um, art nest bag, this bag that I absolutely love in my last video. I think I've actually showed it in a couple of videos now. And I have all of my pens and markers in bags. And um, I took some of these bags of the luminance uh, the Caran d'Ache Luminance Pencils. I took one bag and I mixed up some of those, some of my Tombos, some of these Echoline watercolor pencils, the Tombos, and I put them all in one bag. And I went out with my box and put it on a tripod and did this sketch. And what I, now I have a really, really bad back. So what I figured out was that this was really taxing on my body to stand with a Peshad box and do the mixed media landscape. I actually didn't like the way it came out at first, but now that I've had time to sit with it, I do really like it. It's, it's kind of energetic in its marks. Uh, got an energy to it that you wouldn't be able to get with paints. But it was hard on my body because it that's a lot, a lot of coloring and sketching and mark making. So the second one I did was this gouache painting. The gouache painting was so much easier to do to just lay down the paint in bold, you know, bold brush strokes. I used a large brush, but it definitely doesn't have the same energy as the other one. So as much as I love using my art nest when I'm not feeling good, like I've talked about in the videos, or when I'm sitting in my husband's watching TV in the evening, um, I don't care for them for plein air painting, I suppose, unless I had uh, like a picnic table to sit at. If I was sitting at a table and I had all that space outside, but for standing with a Peshad box, I felt this was taxing on my body. So anyways, it was a fun experiment and it was a beautiful, beautiful day to be outside. You probably can't hear it on the video, but the frogs down at the pond are singing like crazy. And it's just like one of those early, beautiful spring days. So as you'll see later in the video, I um, my cat was down there with me and I found a tick on her. And I actually had, I was dressed in um, clothes that are, were coated by insect shield. So they had tick repellent on them. And I'm currently on my third round of Lyme treatment for, uh, I got reinfected with Lyme, let's see, last fall, I guess. And I've been doing a long treatment for it over the winter. So I did not want to get um, infected with Lyme again. So I just got out of the shower because even though I was wearing tick clothes, I made sure that I took a shower and scrubbed real good afterwards. But yeah, so I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you enjoy watching me use the two different types of media. And um, because I so admire these people who go out and like they sit on a rocky coast and they've got all their colored pencils and markers and art gaffs and, you know, all kinds of stuff, charcoal, and they have these big long concertinas and they, they do these amazingly 
energetic um, drawings and paintings, but it was just doing a landscape for me was, um, like I said, I like I do like the results after I had time to sit with it, but it was taxing. It was kind of taxing for me. And the gouache just felt so much easier. I mean, I know, like Emma Carlyle said once, I believe she said something like, it was easier for her to use the markers and the pencils because she's an illustrator and she's, that's who she is. That's what her training was in, was the drawing and um, illustrating. And she thought, felt it was harder to paint. So everybody's experience is gonna be different. That's why I thought it'd be fun to show both, show me doing both. One that I'm really uncomfortable with and not used to, and then the gouache painting on with a Pashad box, which that's just me and my element. I love that. I just feel so comfortable standing there um, putting big brush marks of paint onto the, onto the um, well, in this case, it was my sketchbook. But so I hope you enjoy the video and um, let me know what if you do plein air painting and if you do what you what you use, do you know, do you use a Peshad box or do you sit at a picnic table or um, yeah, what do you do? What kind of tools do you use? Do you use acrylics or oils or are you comfortable with the mixed media? OK, so I hope you enjoy the video. It's a gorgeous spring day and I'm setting up my Belly River Ala Prima Peshad box so that I can play around with some of these new art materials that I've been experimenting with. A little shelf stores in that back. You can actually store panels back there, but since I like to work in sketchbooks, I store other stuff back in this pocket. shelf goes over here. This little bar opens and this slides open to access your things in there, your paints, pencils, whatever you have in there. And then you also have this little shelf. I have my water container there my backpack which just flopped over and all kinds of mixed media supplies so I'm gonna finish setting up and then I'll take some shots again have a visitor hi Mauser you come say hi Mouse, mouse. Hello, Miss Mauser. Would you like to come paint with me? Oops, you almost tipped over. You pretty girl. Mousy. There you go. Have a little sun bath. There you go. Pretty little Mauser. The only cat I've ever owned that lets you give her belly rubs. Good girl. So you might think that this box is too small for a mixed media artist. It's the smallest box that Ben Haggett makes. Um, and it's not. It's really ingenious. So I have all my little bags of, these are the Caran d'Ache Luminous Pencils, my Tombow Pens, my Neo Color 2s, and I do have some gouache in here, and I have a wet palette in there, but at first, I think I'm just going to work with the pencils and the pens and see how I make out. I'd like to, I'd like to push myself to explore more with the pens and the pencils before I turn to the paint, because the paint is what I'm used to and um, trying to encourage myself to use mediums that I'm not as comfortable with. So let's see what I come up with. You gonna help Mouse? She's all covered with leaves. Okay. I give artists who work this way a lot of credit because I find it so much trickier to work with the mixed media than to paint in plein air. There's just so many more moving pieces to the mixed media part, but 
And also, because these are new supplies to me, I'm not that familiar with the colors yet. So I have to keep testing the colors. And I'm used to using them on like moleskin paper. And this actually is a much higher quality sketchbook and I didn't think about that. So it is um, much more absorbent paper and it's absorbing a lot, much more pigment from the pens and the colors are coming out a lot darker and less transparent than they do on the moleskin. So that's an unexpected thing, but Mauser's here to be my support cat. Mouse, mouse, Mauser. Hello, sweetie. Wanna come say hi? There you go. You're my emotional support cat, aren't you? Uh-oh. Have you got a tick? Uh-oh, she's got a tick. Got to take that out. Okay, so it was killing me not to get out paints, but I didn't. I stuck with the pens and the markers and the neo colors, and um, that's what I came up with. So I think if I do do another one today, I am going to use gouache. I don't know how you artists do it that work with mixed media and plein air, but it's tricky. Okay, so there's my mixed media plein air challenge. It was a fun challenge. I was dying to get my paints out the whole time and just start over, but I just let myself stay really loose and use the media that I brought out. And uh, that's what I ended up with. Not sure about it. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I don't know. Not what I'm used to creating, but it was fun. That's our old goat shed over there. Okay. I'll sit with it and see what I think. If I do another version, I'll do it in paint. I brought some acrylic gouache out and I haven't tried that in plein air yet. I'm a little concerned about it because it's so, it dries so fast. It dries way faster than the M gram regular gouache that I'm used to. So I'll have to see how that goes. I'll just have to put less of it out on my wet palette. And it's, I have the stay wet palette. So I'll just have to put less of it out at a time, but that's the mixed media one. Okay, this is going to be take two with acrylic gouache. We'll see what happens. It dries so fast, I think I'm going to have to... I do have my Stay Wet palette, as I said, but I think I'm going to have to paint really, really fast because it dries out so fast on the palette. I probably should have brought my m Graham regular gouache out, but let's see what happens. You guys are not going to believe what color I forgot to bring out with me. I forgot to bring white. I've been trying to use colors like um, the pastel colors and the gray greens and be gray beige. But uh, they kind of make the colors muddy. I forgot the white because it was in the big tube. And these were all the small tubes and I had the big tube set aside. So I forgot my white and I need to do the stone wall and the roof of the shed. Oh, I should run back into the house and get my white. Oh. Okay, I gotta go do it, gotta go grab white. Okay, I ran back up to the house and I got white. 
the uh, this is the M Graham regular gouache white. The Turner acrylic gouache was up in the studio and I was too lazy to run all the way back up into the studio. So I'm going to try mixing in the M Graham and go from there. I probably should have gotten it a lot earlier, but oh well, carry on. Okay, so that's it for the acrylic gouache one. My back is given out, so I got to pack up and head in, but that was funny that I forgot my white and had to run back in for it. But anyways, that's that. And I have to say, without a doubt, I'm more comfortable painting than using the uh, other mixed media tools, the pens and the pencils. This was a lot more fun for me. So, okay, I got to go because Hubby came to rescue me since my back is hurting. He brought me a wagon to pack everything up on. <laughs> We're old. We're so old. Mm -hmm.